DeMont says, I have developed a new program, Lucrative LinkedIn Sales Solutions, that helps participants create a LinkedIn sales funnel. It can be offered in a one-to-one -one coaching format, group format, or as an online course. Do you have any suggestions for what the sales funnel might look like? Could I promote one format and then offer the other two as upsells or downsells? Um, well, okay, this looks confusing. It's really could not be more simple. Um, first of all, as far as the upsells or downsells, like I, I want to keep it simple and I don't even, I wouldn't even like, I want to just wipe that part off the okay. table. Um, and then I would just say, so um, the second, this first column where it says tutorial PDF webinar, see if I could zoom in. I can't really zoom in, okay. um, but tutorial PDF webinar. So what that is, is like, you could just do, you know, um, tutorials, you could have a downloadable PDF or you could do a webinar, but all of those, any of those um, would be a great top of the funnel piece. Okay. Then of course, all of these options are going to lead into an email sequence. Um, but with a tutorial um, or with the webinar, you can sell directly to the program. Now, whether or not the program is one-to-one -one or a course or a group, that's up to you. But, you know, my favorite thing is if you don't have a huge list is to start with a group or one-to-one -one because that's going to give you the opportunity to test out your content and really get a feel for it. You can get, you're going to get case studies. Then I would, I would turn it into a course, like a recorded course. So that would definitely be step two. Okay. And then over on the left, you know, I'm always going to, I'm always going to just mention Facebook ads. I don't think you have to do it, but mm -hmm. obviously if you put some Facebook ads in front of the tutorials, in front of the PDF, in front of the webinar, you're just going to generate more people. And then finally, you know, you know, my simple, simple favorite funnel, which is to reach out to people directly um, and invite them uh, into the course. But, um, but you know, so you have, you have a lot of options. I think, you know, my for sure answer is start with a group or one-to-one -one and then decide which of these um, are your favorite, your favorite thing to start with to bring them into the funnel. Okay. I, um, I, I, I've offered an accelerator twice, a lead generation accelerator. Mm -hmm. And um, so this is, this is a different, you know, this is a, a different course and, or, you know, um, in different information. Um, but I'm wondering if, because I have approached direct people directly about the other accelerator twice now, whether it's too soon to be doing something like that, even though it's a slightly different format. Yeah, I mean, maybe, I don't know. I mean, I really okay. don't know, but um, you can you can certainly, you know, invite them to a tutorial, um, you know, share a PDF with them, you know, re-engage them, share okay. a webinar with them and, and do it that way. And, okay. then, and, then, and then look at your engagement on those things, reach out to them with a personal invitation, um, okay. you know, sort of re-segment them. Okay, and um, with the Facebook ads, um, is how much would you suggest spending, you know, on a, you know, it looks like I would have three different places where I could run Facebook ads, and I'm willing to invest some money in it, I'm just not sure. I think yeah. I would start with a test, a split test. Um, I mean, if you don't know if you want to do a tutorial, a PDF, or a webinar, right, like, and you're undecided, mm -hmm. a great thing to do would be able to test different titles and formats and put it out there, you know, $5 a day on each, um, just to test, just to see like what's, what's going to work, right. Okay. What people are responding to. Then, um, once you, once you have the answer to that, then, so let's say like the PDF does really well, like you, you're getting leads, you're getting them for about a dollar a lead. Okay. You're good to go. So you should see a, you should see a clear, there's usually going to be a clear winner. Okay. Then you're going to take that ad and double down on it. And at that point, it's really just about w what you can tolerate. Um, okay. You know, and it, it, it's, it's a little bit of a, um, I mean, you need to make sure that the offer is proven that people are opting in for it. Um, and then, 
you know, give yourself a budget. So if you're willing to spend, you know, two to $500 on this, then, you know, that might be a good place to start. Um, but you could spend as little as, you know, as $500, I mean, as little as $100 on it. Um, so, I, I mean, I just, here's the thing. Once you get an ad that works, you know that it's working, you know that it's converting. At that point, it is, I mean, you, you have to have that faith. You have to understand, you know, you have mm-hmm. to see that it's working. Once it does, you can start turning the faucet up. Okay. So okay. like, I always give you guys the example of Front Row CEO, but that's just because it's the last big launch that I did. So, you know, I spent about, um, I was saying $20,000, but really like all of our numbers have come in. So it was about $15,000. Um, but that brought in um, over $100,000. So it's easy. It's a much easier, you know what I mean? And after you do it a few times, you can trust it, but it's scary. You know, it's scary at first it is. And and you, and it's, and I'm not going to pretend like um, it's easy to make that big leap. It's, it's, it's definitely a process, but this is where it starts. I mean, this is where we started with our beta of the beta version of that program was just like this. Okay, great. Thank you. Mm -hmm.